I'll be continuing with my uh, continuing with my survival world, as you can see right here, my survival world. So yeah, if you didn't watch the first episode last time, I found an NPC village, and this is what is one of my houses, one of the NPC villagers houses. Uh, if you didn't watch the last part, I was trying to recover my old house, which is dug underground, and I retrieved it. I found all the stuff that was inside the underground house. So yeah, here's it all. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get an axe and start chopping down some wood. So here's an axe, and I'll need some stone, cobblestone, and some sticks. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm done. It's four sticks. It's barely enough for any evil. Okay, so there's a stone axe. And I'll have these sticks put into my inventory. And we'll just start, you know, and we'll just go chop down some wood. I might get a few, I might, I might get a few buckets of lava on the way. So, Today I'll be trying to build the Nether portal, or more, or or maybe mine. I don't know. It depends on. Tonight I'll be changing the difficulty to to medium or easy, depending on how how I feel to get some loot from monsters. Or in other words, mobs. But there we go, some animals. Now that's a lava pool, and yeah, I'll be going there first. I'll be going there for the lava pool. Right now it's the right now it's the afternoon and it's a late afternoon, so we'll have to one, two, three, three bucks of lava. Not bad. So yeah. There's a cow. <laughs> so I'll need to chop down some trees in order to have more supplies. And you know what supplies are for. Survival. That's why it's called the survival world. And I don't want to chop down too much trees because then I won't have any more trees to chop down later on. So, so the way to chop trees more efficiently you leave a stump on the ground so you can stay on top of it to reach a higher to, to reach a height and right now this is looking good this tree that i'm chopping down is an oak tree and oak trees can drop oak sapling and apples so if you keep trying to chop down its leaves instead of its bark then you can actually get some supplies like apples and sapling. If you don't know what sapling is used for, you use it to grow trees. Sapling is basically like the seed for trees. So yeah. There's a few more pieces of wood. Still can't find any sapling yet. That doesn't matter because it looks pretty good for our first oak tree. I'll at the and then you just break the stumps at the bottom. And I'll just try I'll be trying to get some sapling. Because the reason I want oak sapling is because oak sapling gives me apples. You can get apples from oak trees. So if I have oak sapling, I can get apples from those too. And with my luck I just can't find any sapling or apples, so yeah, that's just my luck. So if it's ah, there we go. That's the sapling. See this? Oak with oak sapling. Now oh, there we go. We have sapling. Another sapling. If we end up finding some apples, well then, yep, I guess.
Yeah, I guess I'll just have to start cutting down this tree then. So, yep, stone axe. If you got, I have iron, but if you guys are wondering why I didn't, I, why I don't use di an iron axe, number one, because I don't have enough iron for the iron axe. And number two, I want to save the iron because the iron axe isn't exactly needed. So if you guys want to save supplies, then I recommend not using like a more expensive stuff just for just for the efficiency of it, unless you like really need it really bad. Now I really want some apples. Minecraft, you're mean to me. Don't give me any apples. But that does not matter as we'll be going home. So as you can see, I have a lot of oak wood now. So, yeah. If you didn't know, last time I, 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 I died by falling into this well. So now I put two cobblestone here just so I can't die from the wall from the well anymore. So yep, oak wood. Now there now that's a lot of oak planks. And that's a lot of sticks. Oak planks. Some sapling and lava buckets. Yep, that looks pretty good. So, yep. You know, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some fences. I would like to get have a farm, like an animal farm. So I'm going to gather some fences. And I'll show you how you make a fence. You need sticks and planks. This is how you make three oak fences. Because I used oak, so yeah. And if you guys didn't know how to make an oak fence gate, it's actually not hard. It's just the way, other way around. So yeah. I'll be starting off with some gates. It's an oak gate, oak fence gate. So I I have cows, I have pigs, I have and I have chicken. Now I'll just I'll make five of them, five of them, just to be safe. I'll make five of them. So yep, there we go. And there's going to be our oak fences. 15. We'll take 30. That's 39 oak fences. And that is not bad. That is not bad. So, yep, this is going to be. Well, I need a shovel to dig up some stuff, to dig up some dirt in case, you know. Something happens. Like if I run out of space. So, ooh, that's the first time I've ever seen a bat outside. So, yep. Oh, why is this so laggy? I don't know. And I'm just gonna destroy this tall grass just because I feel like it. And that is a pond. That is more of a pond. And there, I don't think there's going. Oh, oh yeah, there's squid. There's squid. That's good. Huh. I'm not gonna kill us, but just to be friendly, friendly and nice. But that's um, that's anisite. Okay, so I'll just get I'll just get to work right now. Yep, my wooden shovel is definitely coming in handy. I need to dig up this area just so I can have more space for my animal farm. Wow, I sure am treating those grass blocks hard. Now that's some seeds. It never hooks up too much seeds. 
But I mean, there's already a wheat farm in the village, so I don't think I need that much seeds. Yep, that's our area cleared. And those are cows. Okay. Funny. Cows on the place I exactly want them to be. Except that I don't want them to be here. But. If you guys didn't know, I just found a glitch. Is that if there's two fences in between you and you jump. And then you get stuck in this fence. Then you just get stuck in this fence. And you can't jump your way out. So yeah, you just exit your fence and you can't get back in again. I don't find that glitch game breaking, but it sure is fun to play with. I think that's enough fences. Four. This line. I think I'm gonna run out, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna place these fences here. And in case I run out, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve fences I'll need to save for myself. And I'll still need fences to. Yep. Yep, I sure need. Now I have three more fences left. And just as I thought, I don't have enough space. Oh, what the crap! That was quite weird. Okay, I seem to have run, ran out of. Building materials. Whoop. I guess I just have to do this. That sort of looks weird for a farm, but I mean, what else have I got? Now, what I have to do is I'll have to clear out this grass because then it's quite distracting trying to. The, anim the purpose of the animal farm is to keep the animals stuck in here so that I, I don't have to hunt for them every time I need some food or wool. Well, there aren't any sheep around here. Or milk or eggs. So I can just come here every once in a while to collect some eggs or milk. All I wanted. So that is going to be my animal farm. So, and now, the thing, now, well now, what I need for, to complete my animal farm is animals. Well, duh, it's an animal farm. So, I, I like some wheat for the cows. Um, some seeds for the chicken, and some carrots for the, sh for the pigs. And now, horses and sheep, like wheat too. So, I have to worry about those. If there's going to be some wolves, I'll just pack some meat, I guess. Yep, this is going to be it. I'll have to go find some animals here now. Now, I'll first, I'll get some cows first. And the way you can, you catch the, their attention is that you hold the food in your hands and then you come go close to them. And then they're just going to all come towards you. Make sure not to run too fast or else, the cow, or else you will outrun your cows. That is not what we want. And you have to be aware that cows can't jump to, can, can like, they have, you have to be really slow if you want them to cross a river or something. So, yep. Here's our first wave of cows. Five of them. Not bad, not bad. Now what you do, what you can do, they just run backwards, step by step. So then, so then we don't, so then we don't have to worry about them getting away. And now you open the gate and then you just lead all of them inside. Sometimes they may get stuck, like trying to get in before one another. And see, that's what's happening. So what happens in this situation, you just turn, you just start turning around. And if that still doesn't happen, just punch one of them. There we go. See, now all of them are inside. 
but that cow is going to try to run away. So if you guys don't know, runaway cows aren't bad. You have to get them back. Uh, hello? Somebody is trying to give you some wheat here? Hello? Hello, dude. Okay. Come. So now, get in here. Get in here, dude. Get in here. Now, all the cows are safe inside our pen. So now what I do is, we let's breed them. We feed two of them, and then they, and then what they do is, yep, see your population. It gives you experience, and you get a brand new cow. And you get the achievements if it's the first time doing it. Now, you can't feed, like, you can't feed two of them. You can't, like, continuously feed them, because then, Every, every time you can only you can only feed what, a cow for every like five minutes. So as you can see here, I have a I have two baby cows and five normal cows. And what I do now is I just leave them here. I don't need the I don't need the cows to keep following me. I'll just go get some chicken. I'll go look for some chicken. Okay. It wasn't what I expected, but where are where the heck are these chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken! There, people are looking for you. Yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt that when it picks around. Now these are pretty good decorations, so I'll just keep some for. Where the heck are you, chicken? Well, I guess having some pigs around won't hurt. Come around, come. Come, all you pigs. Come, all you greedy pigs. Really greedy, really greedy. Are you, is this guy gonna come or anything? Come on, guy. Follow me, I have some delicious carrots for you guys to eat. You know, that's quite a lot of pigs. You don't want to lose them if, because if you run too fast, they can't catch up with you. And they're just going to run away. You have to be careful leading them back because you don't want them to get lost. And if you move too slow, they'll just start pushing you. And if there's like a lava pool in front of you, then they'll just push up you inside the lava pool. Now, I don't mean to say that pigs are mean or anything, but... They don't know what they're doing. Come here. Come here. See? I just lost I just lost like a whole bunch of them. Come on. Come on, I lost two. Okay, there we go. Now, if you don't want to have too much pigs, or you'll easily lose them, or they're just gonna keep pushing you each other and like push you or push you into the lab or something. Now if there's like a hill or something. You want to get the I'll get all of them up here before you advance further. As you can see I have a I have a huge horde of pigs right now. Or a pack or whatever you call them. No, packs are wolves. So. I don't know. Let's not mind that for the moment. And you don't want a lot of them to fall. See that? You just fell. One of them just fell into the ravine. That isn't good. That isn't good. So that, so that the pig who fell is just gonna die. And these seven pigs are going to into my pen. These seven pigs are going in. They're not they're not gonna come in guys, come in. Come in, this is your new home. Or a new deathbed, depending on which one I want to kill first, or I don't know. Now, pigs don't give you anything except for pork chop, and pork chop is one of the best foods you can have. So, see that cow's trying to push them in, push them out. So, what I do now is I close the store. Oh, nope, the pigs are overpowering the cow, so okay. 
I'll just be two pigs with carrots. You feed them with the food that you see. Now that that's a little baby. Now where are the now where's that baby? See now that's going to be another baby and an experience point. Anybody? Anybody want another one? There we go. Now I'll just have to go look for some chick. You gotta be kidding me. Come here. Come in, you, you nasty cow. You see me? Are you talking to me? See me? Yeah, you. Never mind. Yep, I'll just go look for some chicken now, I guess. I can't find that much chicken, so I'll be on a short supply of eggs and feathers. So, yeah. Now, I do remember seeing a lot of chickens in this place before, but I think yeah, I killed most of them. But that doesn't matter because we're not going back there, anyways. I guess I'll just go to a different direction of the village to make sure that there are chickens. Now, I think chickens appear in almost every biome, or every biome, I forgot. But chickens are really common. More common than cows and sheep. So, yep, there we go. I found one. The chickens spawn, doesn't, don't spawn that much. I need to, at least two of them. For chickens, I need at least two so I can start the, so I can start the family. Come on. Come on, you see me? You gonna follow me or something? There you go, that's one of my, that's my precious, precious urn too. My hard working urn, my hard workingly urn two. Two chickens. Yep, I can start a farm from here. If all the uh, all the mobs I need, or animals I would say, except for the sheep. But for the sheep, all I need is wool, and for the wool, I could just get it from strings from spiders. Come in, chicken. You guys don't have to rush. There. Now you guys can't get out. Okay, so that's our farm. I can just go. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can. Come on. Where are the two? Aha. One, two. Yep. Now that's a little chicken. Okay, feed that to grow it. But I don't think I need that much seeds right now. Yep. Now, that's what I'm talking about. So that's going to be today's farm. So now what I need is water, which I can get right from right there. And I'll be building another portal now. With these buckets of lava. Now what I don't want here is too much lava. So I'll start another portal someplace safe. Like over No, I think it's safer to start with the water because if you don't then you can get burned you can burn yourself up with the lava. So, yep, that's water. That's water. It's water, man. If water and obsidian mix, then they create. I mean, lot water and lava mix, then they create obsidian, and that's what you need to make the nether portal. Now, even if I make the nether portal, I'm not gonna go in it right away because I don't have the, all the stuff I need. I don't have any diamonds. Most of all, I don't have enough supply of iron. I 
I'm going to build another portal overnight. Over the night? Overnight? What does that mean? I mean, okay, who cares, but... Oh, God, it's raining. you got to be kidding me. I was wishing for a clean... Well, I mean, I don't mean name not clean, but... And that's lightning. If it... It just struck our... It just struck our building. And I think it's gonna... I think you killed one of the villagers, well, villagers up there, so. Yeah, you don't want to be next to lightning. And that's the lava behind me. Oh, what did that hit? What did that hit this time? Well, I think it hit any of us. But. Now, I have to be careful with the lava because I might die. See, that's obsidian. Now that's what I'm talking about. I just lay these lava buckets over here. And that water is a good base. And yep, I'll need 14 obsidian. So that means I'll need 14 buckets of lava. Right now I already have two buckets of lava. And oh, see that smoke? Awesome effect. Awesome particle effect. I, I wonder if the, I mean, I want, I don't know why they didn't make it so that if rain falls on lava for like too much, then it turns into obsidian. I mean, that makes sense because, and there is our partly finished nether portal, but that's four on the bottom. And I don't even need to go mining for diamonds for this part. Oh, God dang it. It's not gonna work. It doesn't look like it's going to work. Gosh dang it. But. Whatever. Obsidian. It's good to have two buckets of water because if you have two buckets of water, you can make a supply, an infinite supply of water. That's going to be our two buckets of water, and I'll start making an infinite supply. Minecraft should make it so that you can't have an infinite supply of water or lava. Well, you can't have an you cannot have an infinite supply of lava, but you can have an infinite supply of water. And that just looks too OP. And that one in the middle is the infinite supply. If I dig the if I try to do the middle, it'll just keep going. So yeah, that is our another bucket of water, and I'll go need you know, I'll need some lava. Three buckets of lava. I hope I can get the nether portal done by night. And I have a flint and steel. I just need I just need one iron, and that's exactly how the amount of iron I have right now. So you know, I'll probably get it done. You don't have an infinite supply of lava, so I have to be careful about where I try to scoop. So if you run out of lava, you would have you just have to go underground, and that's not what I want. So you have to be careful with the lava. Number one can burn itself, and number two can waste too much. And number three can burn down your entire house if it's made out of wood, or you can kill animals, a lot of animals. Or you can just wreck the map. And I'm pretty sure that's not what we're here for. Wait, really? It's, it's quite hard to tell where all the water is, so. Yep, there it is.
So that's one, two, and that's three in the middle, under there. So that's four, this is four. And I think that is, this is going to be, nope, fail. Actually, no, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's actually a pretty good idea. That's five. I'll just need the lava for this. Now I know I can use water as a ladder. So it's almost day. And that would mean this is will be this will be not so good. If you're good at reading lava and water, like the way they're flowing, you can get this done really easily. But I'm not that good of a reader, so. I mean, I'm not bad, but I'm not that good. So, yep, it's almost day. You can see the, you can see the dawn's approaching and the sun's coming up. And yeah. That's the that's the city. It's a city. Oh, did I drop my weapon? Okay. Yeah, I did. Now it's gonna be hard to climb up there. Oh, oh god. Okay. So that's going to be. Two waters of well, two bucks of water. So yep, I'm just gonna use my old trick again. That's this one. Yep, it's this one. So yeah, ouch, God. Oh, okay, that's not that 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 didn't go that well, but okay. So that is going to be. Hmm. Yep. I'm almost done. I think this will be the last buckets of water I need. Or at least I think. Buckets of lava. So, yep. I think that's it. I think that will be it for it. And it is it. So, you know what I mean. See, now this lava pool is like really active. Like, you see all the lava flowing around? That means there aren't that much supply left. Like if you just dig in the right spots, then the then the lava pool will be empty because lava don't generate. There's no such thing as regenerating lava, but there is a such thing as regenerating water. If you place two water buckets side by side with one block in between, that one block of it's going to be where the water generates. Like the water's gonna keep generating. And you have an infinite supply of water. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five obsidian. Yeah, I think so. That's that's a water bucket. That's another water bucket. And I'll yep, I'll finish this little portal by today. That sounds cringy. And now all I have to do is I'll just scoop up these two buckets of water. And oh god, what did I just do? I think that it's going to. Yep, the water's gone. Good. And that is going to be my Nether portal com frame complete. And those, I just, I don't know what to do with this water bucket. I think I'll just place it under here. I mean, it's no big deal. And there we go. There we go. So yep. I don't feel like getting disrupted by mobs right now, so, yep. I need, I, so what I need to do is craft a flint and steel inside here. I'm done with my other portal frame, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get flint. Bucket, 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 bucket. There's a flint, and that's steel. You can place the steel here, here, here. You get my point. You can place it anywhere if you want. But this is my flint and steel and my source of fire. So yep, you can also light the, the you can also light the nether portal up 
with blazes and fireballs. And the fireball is called fire charges. So yeah. And that is going to be another portal. Okay, so yeah. You know. Yeah, you know. So this is going to be my nether portal. So I thought so I think what we're going to do now is I'll just go find a cave system and start mining. And I think this is going to be my last day of this video. So yeah. This is my stone pickaxe. And I'll need wooden, uh, I'll just use up this wooden pickaxe. And here's cobblestone. They're really noisy out there, but. You know, little brothers, but. They're really noisy, and. But what can I do about it? I mean. I have torches. I have like a lot of. Eight? You gotta be kidding me. Only eight? Like, I don't have a lot of torches. Eight? I mean, literally. I only have eight. That, that's kind of sad. I just used up my supply of sticks right here. but Six. Um, I think. If they get really deep, then. Hmm. This looks pretty. Kind of dirt. I want some cobblestone. I mean, I want some cobblestone, but. I mean, I do have, and I do have some. Yeah, this looks pretty tempting. I'll just go now. And I don't think I'm gonna find any. Yep, that's my nether portal. Wow, look at that. Now I'm thinking, should I go in the ravine or one of the two, or one, or, one, or, or huh? It's not really a ravine. The pig's still alive. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or anything, but I mean, I'm just slouch. That crap. You do not want to be stuck in the ravine like this one. But now that is definitely going to be where I'm going to start mining. Supply of iron. Nice. Hmm. Too bad there's like a lot of dirt here, but so yeah. You know, that pig's just gonna stand there, and yeah, I think so. I know, I know, yeah, that pig. I think that pig's just going to be a little brute. I need to get my clothes! I know! Okay, you guys, just hang there, and yeah. Okay. My little brother's so annoying. Sorry about that, but... But, I know. The pig's just gonna die. I mean, it's gonna give me some pork chop. Oh my god. And if he continues to start annoying me again, you know. What's I'll that just annoying? Be quiet and get out! Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay, that's a bit better. I apologize for that, but, you know, uh, what can I do about it? Now, that's going to be two iron. Two iron is not bad. I should have brought a shovel, but, I mean, I just don't feel like. This isn't technically a really good cave system. And that's water? you got to be kidding me. Water? Oh, my God. This leads right to the open ocean. Or the open river, whatever you like to call it. Okay, so this is not a good cave system. And I'll be getting out of here. I'm out of here. Two iron, that's not bad. Ouch. Two iron's not bad, but I'm out of here. Seriously? Next to the ocean? Or the river, or whatever it is? God. I'll just have to find the cave system I was just in. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that was the cave system I was talking about. Right there, you see? That little part of the land. I'll just dig this place up. And this will be a really bad place to start mining. 
Okay, I so far can't find that many good cave system. So I guess what I have to do is I have to go back to my ravine. No, I'll, I'll come. I'll come in here, and then I'll start my own mining ground. Let's we'll start digging under here. If you guys can't find a good cave system, then I recommend start digging on your own. And make sure not to get killed by lava because, as you can see, that was a, that was the lava. That was a lava pool that I just I just used from. And you guys wouldn't really want to mine under lava, but th this is my only choice. I don't have any more left. Yeah, I need some torches. Yeah, and that's going to be my at the end of my wooden pickaxe's life. Right? Wait. Three more blocks. Two and three. There. Three more blocks. I called it. Now, with the stone pickaxe, I can mine faster. So that means I can get to better ores faster. And iron pickaxe, you can mine even faster, so... Yep, I'm digging in some andesite right now, and I have three cobblestone left. Why did I right-click the raw pork chop, but I mean, I can't eat it because I'm not hungry, so. If you want to have a safe mine, then what you do is you turn on peaceful mode. But if you want to have a, a little bit hazardous, like, mine feels like there's going to be some monsters out here. You can turn on easy. But if you turn on hard mode while you're trying to mine, that is not, that is not going to really have to leave you to a good end. And right now, I'm just not making any progress in getting any valuable ores, or any ores at all. Right now, I can't get any ores, like, literally. And if I want to mine again, I have to Ooh, gravel. That's that's not a bad. That's quite good. That's quite a good sign. So that means if I dig too far down, then I can just. I might be close to ores. Which ores? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm close to ores. If I don't get any ores on this mining this mining place like right now literally if i don't okay of course that this like this i want this try then i'm just gonna rage i might rage i'm probably going to rage okay so yeah i'll be almost done this is this is uh, this is this is probably going to be the end of my video and I am probably going to rage because I can't find any sorts of iron or any sorts of... Like, oh, granite. That means I'm quite underground. Oh, no, you can get granite up there. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... Yep. I'm, I'm going to be wrapping up the video soon. Like... And there is no, there is no sign of ores yet. And that's quite upsetting me. That's quite upsetting to me. And as this is 1.11, I'm not so happy about it. This is quite underground. And I'm still not getting any ores, not even iron. And I'm really mad. I'm, go I'm going to rage. I'm literally going to rage. Oh my god, if I don't get this an ore after I, I run out of this stone pickaxe, I'm going to rage. I'm going to literally rage. I think I'm going to rage. Oh yes, finally, some gold. Oh my god, I haven't got an iron yet, and I found gold. I mean, is this the craziest day ever? I don't have iron, but I already have gold. What's up with that? 
Hmm. I mean, nobody knows. The nose knows. And that's cold. Nice. So, so it's probably not going to rage. Yep, I'll be, I'll be wrap the, wrapping up the video probably here. After I mine this batch of coal, which is probably going to take some while, more like one minute, but. Yep. Okay. Yes, and finally some iron, so I'm not going to rage. Okay, that's good. That's really good. So I can finally make an iron pickaxe and start mining those valuable ores. So yes, I am not going to rage. Good. Okay, so I do rage, I will rage. I mean, when I say rage, I mean literally scream my head off. Or I just rage at my friends because they keep annoying me. Or I just rage at my little brother because he doesn't shut up. Or I just rage at my game. Or I just rage because of my really bad luck. Or I just rage for no reason. That makes no sense. But yep. Yes. That's a valuable ores. Iron and I found gold, but I can't get it because I don't have any iron ore. I mean iron pickaxe. So yep. I'll be ending the video here. Goodbye and peace out. But oh my god, seriously, look at this gold. I mean, wow.